Aloha, it's Kim Jolene with Finding Your Fiji, and I'm here doing your monthly reading for Scorpio for the month of September 2018. So today is going to be a little bit of a different reading, a little bit special. So we will do our theme for the month. You'll get our regular theme. We'll get some additional information from the angels and my regular deck. And then we are going to get answers to three of your questions. So we've got the answer deck that we're going to be using today for three questions. So what type of questions do you ask? These would be things that are um, not complex, but more simplistic questions like yes, no questions or um, time frame questions or is this in my highest and best interest? Um, you know, what is the energy around this, that type of question. So you can either pause the video now and write down your three questions, or you can, I will give you another opportunity just before I do the answers for you to pause the video again to write down your questions. And then we're also going to be getting a, an animal spirit guide for you or a totem for you for this month that's going to assist you with the month of September as well. At the very end of this video, I am going to share a little bit more about how I talk to homes. So I'm a house whisperer, which means that I'm able to speak to your home energetically. I'm also able to clear your home and I'm gonna share a little bit more about my very unique process and how I do that. I also have a um, special that I'm running this month for uh, essentially for home it's a package that I offer it's a home communication and clearing or a space whispering package is what I call it and I have coupon codes for that below and uh, also a little bit more information about that so that is what we've got cooking for you guys let's go ahead and get started your theme for this month is the three of fire Fire cards are all about passion, about action, and this is really a great card for you because it's all about abundance. And it's really, uh, you know, lots of flow of money. You get to make those long-term plans. Things are looking very, very good for you right now. There may be a few little things that you need to have some patience around, but all in all, this is going to be a great month for you money-wise. And just in that sense of like um, feeling a little bit more settled and a little bit more um, in the flow of things is what I'm seeing around that. Let's see what else is coming through. some shift and change cards we've got going here. Um, also the five of water. So five of water is coming in. When five of water comes in, this is a little bit like spilt milk. You're crying over spilt milk. Something didn't turn out the way that you would have liked it to turn out. It didn't happen the way you wanted it to. And so now you're kind of throwing a little bit of a fit about it. Please don't do that. Like just be in that space of like, okay, this didn't work out the way that I wanted it to or that I thought it would, but everything is always working out for you. So even when it seems like it doesn't work out, it's still working out for you. It's happening for you. So find the gift in it, right? Look past the illusion of like something is wrong because there isn't anything wrong and find the gift and the, um, the blessing, the lesson in, in this, right? Um, so see the positive in the situation. And then we've got the life experience card coming in. Um, this is the 16 Archangel Camuel, and it is a, um, a significant life event. Uh, so when the life experience card comes in, usually there's something significant that is happening in your life. And this leads to you opening more fully to your higher wisdom to um, connecting with who you really are 
so it's often a time of revelation where you'll get these aha moments. So this is something that's coming up for you in September, which is awesome. And it's also a beautiful time to spread your wings. So again, when you're opening in this way, it's really beautiful to be able to, um, you know, essentially spread your wings and, and be out more in the world, right? And doing, showing up as you fully are and doing more of those things that you are meant to do in this lifetime. And then we also, interestingly, so kind of an opposite card, you've got the spread your wings card and then you've got the hermit. So you need both that social time, that time being out in the world, and your time to yourself for meditation, contemplation, spiritual growth, right? Um, personal, um, you know, essentially discovering more about yourself. So you've got both of these things going on in the month of September, which is uh, beautiful. It's a nice balance, right, around all of that. And money flow as well. So yay, you, right? Awesome. All right, I am going to do the answers to the questions now, so go ahead and pause the video. If you have not written your questions down, I encourage you to write them down so that you can then write the answers uh, to the questions next to them as I share these answers with you. All right. So question number one, your answer is perfect timing. So this can have a couple different meanings for you, and I do have one other card that's coming in for this as well. A couple different meanings. Sometimes the energy around this is this is the perfect time, right? Like you're doing this in the perfect timing. Other times it's like, oh, it will happen in the perfect time, right? And so as I'm sharing that with you, you will likely resonate with one or the other of those, right? Like this is the perfect time or it will happen in the perfect time. There's also a sense of recovery around this question that you asked. So there is a, a needing of some time to really be in the space of taking care of yourself, recovering from either some sort of mental, physical, emotional, um, uh, just, you know, maybe a little bump in the road, right? And a little bit of recovery. And so to me, it feels like things will happen as you're able to recover from that. And then, you know, the perfect timing will come through. So that's an interesting one. I'm always super curious as to what your questions are. So if you'd be um, willing to be vulnerable and post what your question is down below in the answer, I would love that because I love to see the synchronicity and sometimes I can provide a little bit more um, insight right into the answer for you specifically. So if you're confused about the answer to one of the questions that you had, please post it below and I will uh, comment and see what comes through for you around that. Okay, question number two, the situation will improve. So things are going to get better in regard to this particular question things are going to get better. You do need to be listening to your intuition. So that is the key to this particular circumstance or whatever it is that you're asking about. Listen to your in intuition, follow your gut, follow that intuitive knowing because that is the way things are going to turn out, you know, the best for you. And of course, that's always the case, but really um, a focus of this particular question that you have is the intuition piece, right? And following that. Okay, question number three, ask your angels. So I love this. They're wanting you to ask them directly. So sometimes, you know, I'm able to get answers for you guys in, in this type of circumstance. And other times they really want you to go into a quiet meditation and ask directly. And that way they're able to give you those signs, those symbols, those synchronicities, the, the words even as you're, you're in that meditation or in that space of asking, and they're able to work with you more directly on that, right? So um, asking your angels, and I think part of it too is like asking them for help. So this might even be like, you know, have you asked for assistance around this particular question? Have you asked them for help? So if you haven't, this is a clear sign that you need to ask them to help you. Ask them to pave the way for a beautiful unfolding for you. 
That's uh, uh, something that we can do all day long every day is ask our angels to create a beautiful unfolding for us. Ask our angels to help us with the time factor and working with vertical time, right? So many different things come into play there that we can ask for assistance with, right? And then open to receive. Okay. Your uh, animal totem for this month or your animal guide for this month is the badger. And this is all about perseverance, okay? This isn't about quitting, this is about perseverance. Perseverance, you need to see things through. You need to dig in and complete things, right? This is a time of completion. The nine month in general is a time of completion. So we're in September, this is a nine month, which is, and, and this shifts and changes, there's all kinds of different things you can do with numerology around that. But um, just in general, nine is about completion, it's about reaching new heights, it's a very lucky number in feng shui, um, but definitely can be about completion, about the culmination of things. So you need to dig in and see it through. Okay, love all of this for you guys. Have an amazing, amazing month. Um, please make sure if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please click the button in the corner and do that. Also hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos, which I do on the daily for a small, um, I do just a short daily reading that's like five minutes or less along with an affirmation. And then I do these monthly zodiac readings as well as a feng shui Friday. So every Friday you get some sort of feng shui tip, either one directly from me or through an interview that I might have been um, interviewed by someone else. I am doing a lot of podcast interviews these days. So I, it will be um, beautiful to, sh to share that. And I do also, it just dawned on me, which I'll... I'll um, put in the notes below in the description below, but I'm in uh, in the well. Let's see. Will this air by then? Uh, it's going to be close. Uh, in, I, I'm in a in a animal wisdom summit, world summit, and so I'm being interviewed. Uh, I have been interviewed. It's already the interview has already taken place, but it will be posted on. Uh, Tuesday and I think it's only open for 24 hours so you might catch it but anyway the, I'll put the links below for that particular summit if you're interested in participating in that and it's all free you can watch you know you can watch all the different interviews there's some really big names in there Colette Baron reed uh, Stephen Farmer I'm trying to think who some of the other ones are John Holland um, lots of um, big names in there too with little old me and we are all sharing information about pets or communicating with animals or animal spirit guides. I personally am talking about feng shui for pets. So some really cool information and things came through that. So it's a beautiful, um, beautiful to be part of those type of things. Stay tuned for the next little video that will give you a little bit more information about my space whispering and how I talk to homes. Much love to you. Aloha, it's Kim Jolene with Finding Your Fiji. Did you know that I am a space whisperer? Yes, it's true. I can talk to your home. I also can energetically clear it, and I do this on a remote basis. So today I'm sharing with you a little bit more information about space communications and clearings, how that all works, and how you can benefit from this. So let's start with, you know, why? Um, why do we clear a home? Why does it need to be cleared, right? Our homes collect stuck energy just like they do dust and dirt. So anytime there's an argument in the space or you're feeling really um, depressed or lonely or maybe even in a lot of pain from health issues or different things like that, that leaves an energetic blueprint in your space. So it basically leaves that, um, you know, as if you sat in a chair and you got up and there's like a little print of you, right? So that energy, that lower vibrating energy leaves a footprint or leaves sort of residue. Um, you can think of it as kind of energetic dust, if you will, leaves that in your space. 
So we want to be clearing that out. And there's a number of different times when it's important to clear a space. If you are moving into a new home, that's an excellent time to do it because you don't know what happened prior to you moving in. You don't know what arguments occurred there. Oftentimes people are very stressed out when they're moving, so there's probably a lot of stress. Even if it's a new home that's been built, um, all the different people who worked on that home and the different moods and things that they were in when they were working on your home is in that space, right? So that's a great time to clear the space. Another time is after you've had a party or a lot of company in the space, right? That is a really excellent time to be clearing the space because you, again, people are leaving their energetic footprint in your home. Anytime there's an argument in the space, if you have an argument with your child or your spouse, that's a really excellent time to clear. If people are having trouble sleeping in the home, this is a great time to clear it as well because sometimes there the energy is just off or again, you know, that that sort of not positive energy that's hanging in the space can impact our sleep. Also, sometimes people do have actual spirits in their home, right? Um, you know, you hear about the Ghostbusters, right? And so sometimes we do have spirits in the home, and particularly for the young ones that are more connected spiritually or more open spiritually than we are as adults. If your children are having nightmares, this is a, that would be a great um, a sign that you need to clear your space. So what do I do when I do a space communication and clearing? So just to clarify, I do this as a package, and there's a reason for that. The reason that I do it together is because the two things really complement each other and allow um, more um, shifts to occur when I do them together than when I do them separately. So I do a space communication and clearing. So the first thing that I do is I clear actually each level of the home. Uh, and that includes all of the different rooms and I'm doing this remotely but it's really super powerful in fact I I'm beginning to understand that the remote clearings are even more powerful than the ones that I do in person so I clear each um, each room of the home all of the levels and then so that's the inside the interior but then I also do the exterior of the home as well so around the home I clear that energy as well so I kind of start with that and then I also anchor the space with four angels um, typically it's four different angels but sometimes um, there might be one angel that's going to anchor one whole side of the space but um, so there's four angels that I call in to anchor the space and they will have messages for you as well right so messages things that you need to know about at that particular time I also then place the um, home, and so the blueprints, the plans, into um, an energy ring. And what this does, and this is typically the home or the plans are in there for at least 24 hours. I've had them in as long as um, four or five days, depending on what, you know, how, how deep a clearing needs to happen and kind of what's going on energetically. And I just follow the guidance about how long it needs to stay in the energy ring. And this energy ring is a, a way to create sort of a po positive vortex around the entire home home and to really um, it really helps clear the home as well okay so that's part of what I do with the clearing aspect of things and I often get messages when I'm doing the clearing or I'll have questions for you about oh what's going on in this area of the house right because I'm feeling really stuck energy in that part of the house that type of thing and then I also communicate with your home so I actually open up a conversation with your home I find out what your home's name is I'll get a little bit of information about their personality as I'm speaking with them because our homes do have an energetic personality right and so you will get a little bit of information about that and then I also ask your home what does it need for it to support you in the things that you want to be do and have in your life so I open up that communication channel and it's amazing some of the stuff that comes through I've had homes tell me that they want their windows washed and so that they can see more clearly um, I've had homes ask for flowers to be brought in uh, all kinds of different things and homes definitely do have a personality 
uh, to them. Some are very persnickety, some are very laid back, some are very loving. It's, you know, it's a different energy that each one has. So, uh, you receive, when I do a, a space communication and clearing, what you get is you'll get actual action steps to raise the vibration, the energetic vibration of your home. You'll also get the angel messages from those angels that are anchoring your space. You'll get a 30 minute recorded call with me where I share the information and the, the things that I found in the communication and the clearing. Sometimes I ask additional questions and and then you also get a summary of the communication and clearing. So all of these beautiful things that you get with this particular package. And the clearings help in a number of different ways. As I mentioned, if you or your children are having trouble sleeping, this would be a great option. Um, if you are needing to clear some spirits or ghosts out of your home, that's always a great option to help with that. Um, I've had, I can't tell you how many um, different clients that I've worked with with children where we've been able to get them sleeping well again using this as well as some feng shui techniques as well. If you're trying to sell your home, a great aspect is to clear it, right? So clear your energy out so the new owners can feel their own energy in the space. And then any um, clearing any past negativity to give you a fresh start, right? So that's a beautiful, um, beautiful thing that you can do. And of course, anytime that you're changing your home, moving um, to a no, new home or had construction in your home, that's also a beautiful time to do that. So. That is what the, the space communication and clearing, also known as space whispering and some portions of my website, is all about. That's what that is about. I have a special that I'm offering for September, 20% off uh, space clearings and communication. So that's a, a package deal, um, a space clearing and communication. Use the coupon code CLEAR and that will save you 20%, which essentially saves you about $44. You can also use this if you want to gift this to someone. So this would be a great thing for realtors if you are needing to give your clients a gift um, as they sell their, you know, um, as they either sell their home or, or purchase a new home. This is an amazing, beautiful gift that you can give them and I have gift certificates and the gift certificate coupon code is clearing so for the actual consult for yourself it's clear is the coupon code and then for gift certificates it's clearing and all the links to all of that are below so I'm looking forward to assisting you with space communications and clearings and I'm sending you much much love and light. Aloha.